Yo, what's up guys? Joe here bringing you another video for Once Human. My last video helped me realize that a lot of people don't know the difference between a season and a scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and be breaking it down using the official Once Human resources to hopefully help some people understand it better because it seems like some people are quite confused, right? A lot of people think that this is not season two. So I'm assuming they just don't really understand how it works and that makes a little bit of sense um the devs did go ahead and make it like as confusing as possible but apart from the people that just don't seem to really understand the difference there's a lot of people spreading misinformation right and i wanted to go ahead and address that right now so to go ahead and prove the point that we are in season two. The devs have stated we're in season two. I don't know how people are denying we're in season two. So the only thing that I can think of is they don't really fully understand how it works. So we're going to be using the official resources to break it down and take us away, H37. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Once Human Crash Course. I'm your helpful companion, H37. There is so much to talk about when it comes to the design of seasons and scenarios in Once Human. I'm here to give you the rundown on these systems, helping you get the full picture on how they work in the game. On the menu, scenario, season, and eternal land. Okay, so we're only going to be going over scenario and season because internal land doesn't matter. I don't think anyone actually likes internal land and I don't care enough to uh, explain it. Uh, TLDR, if you're familiar with any kind of other ARPG, um, Eternal Land is literally the Eternal Realm. Like if you've ever played Diablo 4, the Eternal Realm, that's Eternal Land. Let's dive into what each of these are all about. Scenario. Think of a scenario as the theme of the server. It's a mix of gameplay rules, modes, and content. Each scenario has its own map, theme, content, objectives, and duration. And then I'm going to pause right here because this seems to be a, where a lot of people are actually getting confused, right? So each scenario has a different map, a different theme, different types of content, different objectives, and a different duration. Uh, the main argument that I've seen for people thinking that we're still in season one is because the scenario did not change. That's not correct. So we are on season two of the Manny Bus scenario and season two of Evolution's Call. When these additional scenarios uh, scenarios drop later in the year, right? One drops at the end of September, one in, uh, is sometime in October. Um, what this uh, effectively is going to be is season one for that scenario, right? Um, it's going to be season one for the Prism Guardian Wars or whatever this is called and season one for the Winter Mountain thing. So we are on season two of Manny Bus and Evolution's Call. A scenario is not the same as a season. Each scenario has different length seasons. For instance, in the Manny Bus scenario, Players team up through different phases of the season to eventually face off against the powerful Manibus in the Prime War. Season. Okay, so before it gets into seasons, we're going to break that down and go over the phases, right? So what they just said is each scenario uh, scenario is going to have a different amount of phases so it's not always going to be six and it is going to be a, a variable the amount of time that these do take so as an example when the next scenario uh, scenario unlocks let's say phase one is 
four weeks as opposed to one week, right? It's pretty much the estimated amount of time that they feel the story they designed is going to take. That's how they're deciding the amount of time each season for each scenario is. Right now, the Manny Bus scenario is nine weeks. You may be thinking, nine weeks? How is that true? Well, because each season of the Manny Bus scenario has five main phases leading up to the Manny Bus event, and each of these is about a week long. And then the settlement phase is going to be when you can go over to a, a, another world, start a different scenario, stuff like that. And that's a four week period. So one, two, three, four, five plus four equals nine. So let us continue, HD7. A season represents the progression cycle of a scenario. The length of a season can change depending on the scenario and how it's divided. <laughs> I forgot he literally just explains it right after I explained it, but like I was mentioning, it can change depending on the scenario you're in. Into different phases. And that's uh, also what I was mentioning about how each scenario can have a different amount of phases, right? Let's say we get to the mountain scenario and there's only four phases, but each phase is three weeks as opposed to the one week of the mana bus. As you go through these phases, more content becomes available in the final settlement phase which currently lasts for four weeks you can either jump into a new city and that's what i was mentioning with each uh with each scenario the settlement phase is four weeks with mana bus currently each phase has been a week right so that's where i was getting my five weeks plus the four weeks once again five plus four equals nine Scenario. Quick oh, mass. Stick around until the season wraps up. Eternal Land. No one cares. Is... We're going to skip that. No one cares about Eternal Land HD7. Uh, let's back up a little bit. Right about there. For dimension that never disappears. Each scenario is like a parallel universe with its own set of... That is the part that I think people are overlooking, right? Each scenario is its own universe with a different set of rules and storyline. So I think a lot of people think that this is a linear progression when it's not. It's a multiverse, right? Where what happens in one world doesn't directly impact what happens in another. In the future, they may have like cross world events that do happen, but as of right now, they're not directly linked. Think of it like each thing is its own little globe. Think of it like the fucking universe, if you want, right? Um, where each scenario is its own planet where um seasons uh, and stuff are going to be different on each planet like how long a year is on a planet is going to be different depending on what planet you are how they're designing once human right now is for a vast variety of players and it may not seem that way because we only have the one scenario but as we unlock more scenarios it's going to become more obvious right because we have the many bus scenario which is the 10 weeks and it is a pve scenario where we fight the many bus uh, evolutions call i haven't played it but i'm assuming it's a more pve oriented i believe it is still the same 10 10 weeks that the Manny bus scenario is uh scenario is uh correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it is the same 10 weeks right this is leading me to believe that these next two scenarios are either going to be longer or shorter than the current scenarios we have i keep swapping between scenarios and scenarios because i want to say scenario but uh hd7 has said scenario the entire time so i'm trying to copy that uh but yeah so the prism verse clash that uh i believe is coming at the end of september is most likely going to be shorter or longer than nine weeks as long as evolution call is nine weeks it's going to be a different length of time this way you can cater to a different set of players who still want to play a pvp style game mode and uh 
uh, that still want to cater to players that want to try a PvP style game mode, right? Just over a different length of time. One of the main complaints about the current seasons uh, for many of us in Evolutions call is people either feel like they're too long or they're too short. What they're going to do is they're going to be releasing different scenarios that are different lengths of time. That way you can play whichever one suits your needs. Think of it almost like private servers of the same game, right? Where there's different rules rules and restrictions where they're not directly connected, but they have the same concept. Think of something like RuneScape, right? If you've ever played RuneScape, how there's a bunch of private servers for RuneScape or shit, even WoW, how there's a bunch of private servers for WoW, right? Where the core concept is WoW, but the different servers have different rules and restrictions. That's essentially what scenarios are. Scenarios, sorry, uh, what scenarios are. They're just the same core concept, but with a different subset of rules. So once Prism vs. Clash launches, it is going to be launching at Season 1 of Prism vs. Clash, right? Season 1 is going to be the creation of that universe. That timeline, that storyline has nothing to do with many bus or evolutions called. It's parallel universes. It's not a linear timeline. So same thing for the Way of Winter, right? The Way of Winter, when it launches, is going to be launching at Season 1. It's not a continuation or an extension of the Manibus. It is going to be its own storyline hosted out of the Once Human Universe. Rules and storyline. Each parallel universe... So see, as you can see, they have different types of uh, core concepts, right? Close Encounter, Co-op Construction, PvP, Stronghold Conquest, Faction Battle, Deviation Conquest, uh, Co-op Spectacle Construction, and Winter Survival. It's different types of worlds. It's not a linear progression storyline, which I'm going to continue to repeat because I feel like a lot of people think it's going to be a linear progression storyline, and it's not. adventure in that universe will come to an end when this happens you can either jump into a new universe restart the same one or return to eternal land and regroup with your gear and resources okay so this is where a lot of people are getting confused I feel like I've already said that, but this is where the main confusion is coming from because we do not have this red line right here, right? What H37 just said is at the end of the scenario, during the settlement phase, this new dawn phase, which lasts four weeks, you have the ability of continuing your current scenario. So playing it out until the end, going to Eternal Land and just waiting or going over to another scenario. Right now, we only have the two. We only have Mana Bus and Evolutions Call. So the options that we had going from Season 1, one to season two was restarting mana bus or going over to evolutions call they did and give us worlds with more difficulty as well but those were still the same two things that we had we had the ability to restart the same scenario or uh hop over to pvp that's like literally it this third line did not exist yet because we don't have these additional scenarios. In the future, when we get more scenarios, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to play a season of Manny Bus and then hop over to the Way of Winter or play a season of the Way of Winter and then hop over to Evolution's Call. It's not linear progression. It is literally more of a zigzag, right? At any point in the settlement period of a season for each scenario, you can move over to another scenario. There hasn't been any restrictions laid out. So let's say we're in the final phase of many bus i want to go to prism vs clash i'm able to do that i don't have to go to the way of winter even though i was just on a pve a scenario i'm able to go over to a uh pvp scenario and let's say that prism vs clash is longer than many bus 
I can farm a bunch of gear and shit in the season of Manibus and then go over to a PvP scenario. That's what they're aiming for, is they're aiming for you to zigzag between these different worlds and having it more like a multiverse than a linear progression. And that's where a lot of the confusion is coming from. Right. So we've got the basics down. But how does this unfold? Let's look at each of the steps involved. One, choose a scenario you want to explore and join the server. After creating a character, you can dive right in. As the season winds down and enters its settlement phase, the server will open up registration for new scenarios. Three, you can sign up for a new scenario right away and continue with your current character. Okay, so that's literally what I just explained, right? Let's say you start up once human for the first time. You're going to choose a scenario and a server. Right now, you can only choose Manny Bus or Evolution's Call. In the future, that is going to be different. But then you're going then you're going to create a character and then you're going to play through that scenario. At the last four weeks of that scenario season, you're going to be able to make the decision of, do I want to go over to another server or do I want to just play this one out? Four, you can also decide to stay in the current server until the season fully ends. Or you can head over to Eternal Land to rest and regroup, where you can register for new scenarios anytime you want. So the way that Eternal Land is working right now, I don't believe is quite the way that they actually want it to work, right? The way that I'm understanding it is they're giving you the uh, ability of going over to Eternal Land and like prepping your shit before you go into a, another world, right? Right now, it doesn't work that well, especially with the limited amount of points that we have, as well as us only having the one scenario. So it, it's not working quite the way as intended, but in the future, let's say you do a season of many bus, right? Then you would potentially have the option of going over to the eternal land, prepping all your shit, and then hopping in to the prism guardian uh, situation, right? A, a scenario or evolutions call. Let's say you want to do a season of PVP and then a season of PVE. And I'm assuming in the future, there is going to be uh, scenarios that have a good mixture of both um, and that you're going to have the option of playing on as well. Main thing being the core concept of think of it as a multiverse as opposed to a linear timeline. We've nailed down the process. Uh, and I think that's the last thing that I want to go over. Uh, I, I don't care about the rest of this video. I'm pretty sure it just goes over what you can save and not, not save, content. right? Stuff like that. Let me, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and make this video because I saw a lot of misinformation uh, going around of how seasons and scenarios work. And I saw a lot of people just not understanding quite how it worked. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video breaking it down how seasons work, uh, where each scenario does have its own timeline, right? Each scenario has its own seasons. It's not seasons overall in the general concept and that's where a lot of people are getting confused but yeah that's pretty much it uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content and until next time take care